Intel's 7th generation processors, aka Kevin Lake processors, just got sent to the reviewers. And what a letdown. Probably, I should have suspected that since the beginning, and probably to most of you, it's no surprise that Kaby Lake isn't offering us any concrete boost in performance. But what really changes things is the noticeable boost in motherboard features that our new chipset Z270 is giving us. But will it make our lives easier? Definitely yes. And will it give us any concrete boost in frame rates or performance? Well, no. And at the time this video is being recorded, Pricing isn't released yet, so we don't know if there's going to be any price drop, but honestly, looking at Intel's latest pricing policies, again, the answer is no. As some of you may know, my personal build is sporting an i5-6600K, but lately, when I started recording videos, I noticed that it wasn't enough, multitasking is just impractical. So I decided to upgrade to an i7, and with the new processors behind the corner, waiting seemed like the best option. But now that you see the new processors and the little to no benefits that they offer us, well, honestly, spending over $300 for a reboot of an old processor doesn't seem worth it to me. Comparing clock to clock the two A7s, the precise the Kaby Lake and the Skylake one, the result is rather disappointing. A 1% increase in performance and a slightly lower energy consumption. They will save us just under a quarter every month. But since people spending over $300 for a single processor probably don't even care about energy consumption, and the systems this processor is designed for aren't usually turned on 24-7 on maximum load, it is still a disappointment. But watch out, Cab Lake isn't all that shitty after all. It is the first line of consumer-grade processor that can easily reach an astonishing 5GHz. Last processor able to reach such high speeds was AMD Enthusiast Grade Processor FX9590 at a launch price of over a thousand US dollars. Speaking of AMD, their slight line of processors will also be released soon. That is good for us, because finally Intel will have actual competition again. That means that in order to sell more products, they will have to offer the best product. Investing more time and more money in researching new technologies and new materials, because if you didn't know, we're getting extremely close to a small silicon can be cut for making transistors, but that is another story. This is the end of the video, and if you liked it, smash the like button, and if you didn't like it, please smash the like button anyway, and subscribe if you didn't do it yet, and see you next time.